Hello, this is Marty Buckles from Go Engineer, and today we are going to talk about the features used in SolidWorks CAM. One of the core aspects of SolidWorks CAM is its feature recognition engine, but these features are not the same extrudes and revolves we are used to seeing with SolidWorks. So let's take a quick tour through the feature types used in SolidWorks CAM in order to better understand them and the terminology used to describe the machinable features. A face feature is an open area to be cut using a face mill. SolidWorks CAM moves the tool in a path parallel to the selected face past the boundaries of the feature in order to clear away all of the stock material. Face features can be defined by faces, edges, or closed non-intersecting sketches and have allowable operations of rough mill and contour mill. Open pocket. An open pocket is also an area to be cut that is open on all sides, but it includes bosses, islands, or some other kind of projection that is being machined around. Open pockets are defined by faces, edges, closed non-intersecting sketches, and can be machined with operations of rough milling and contour milling. Pocket. A pocket is a recessed area where none of the sides are open to air. SOLIDWORKS CAM distinguishes between rectangular, circular, irregular, and oblong shaped pockets. With pockets, the tool is offset from the edge by the tool radius and will stay within the edges of the feature, clearing out all of the material internal to these boundaries. Pockets can be defined by faces, edges, or closed non-intersecting sketches and allow for rough mill, contour mill, thread mill, and hole machining operations. Slots. Slots are recessed areas with one side open to air. SOLIDWORKS CAM will detect the open side and allow the tool to move past this boundary to ensure the geometry of the feature is fully cut. Like with pockets, SOLIDWORKS CAM distinguishes between rectangular and irregular shaped slots. Slots can be defined by faces, edges, or closed non-intersecting sketches, and the allowable machining operations are rough mill and contour mill. Corner slots are just the same as slots, except they are open to air on more than one face. Again, SOLIDWORKS CAM identifies the open sides to allow the tool to travel beyond the edges of the feature, clearing out all of the stock. SOLIDWORKS CAM differentiates between irregular and regular shaped corner slots, and they can be defined by faces, edges, or closed non-intersecting sketches. The allowable machining operations here are rough mill and contour mill. Boss. A boss is a raised area of material to be cut around. SOLIDWORKS CAM recognizes rectangular, circular, irregular, and oblong shaped bosses. They can be identified by faces, edges, or closed non-intersecting sketches. The usable operations are contour mill and thread mill. If you are looking to have roughing cuts around the boss, then an open pocket feature might be considered instead. Hole. A hole is a round cut either to a blind depth or through the stock using a point-to-point -point tool. Holes can be defined by faces, edges, or circular sketches. Machining operations available for holes include center drill, drill, including peck drilling, countersink, bore, ream, tap, rough mill, contour mill, and thread mill. Open profile. The open profile feature allows the tool to follow the part edge or sketch lines. The tool will be offset from the edge or sketch lines by the radius of the tool, and this is commonly used to make cuts along the side of the part. This feature can be defined by open, non-intersecting edges and sketches that are parallel to the current mill part setup. The only available operation is contour mill. Engrave features. Engrave features are intended to simplify the engraving of sketch text or sketch lines and arcs. The tool center will follow the selected entities, which can include lines, arcs, splines, and text objects. The sketch can be open or closed, and the sketch can be self-intersecting. All engraving operations are done with contour mill. Curved feature. The curve feature provides a way to guide the tool along a multi-dimensional path. The tool center will follow the selected 2D or 3D sketch or edge in all three dimensions, and this is often a useful way to create chamfers. Select entities can be edges, open or closed, self-intersecting sketches. This machining operation is performed with a contour mill. That concludes our tour through the list of SOLIDWORKS CAM features.
If you are interested in SolidWorks CAM or any of the other SolidWorks tools, check out GoEngineer.com for more information. Thank you.